And on today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily display all of your as seen on logos on your website so that you can build street cred and boost your social proof that you're putting on your website of how fabulous you are and all of the great places that you've been featured. So what you want to do is go to pixlr.com and you can see that I have opened some of the logos of where I've been featured at. And they're different sizes and I'm going to show you how to resize it. So once you are at pixlr.com and you have the logos open that you want to insert into one image, then you are going to create a new image and you're going to go up to file, new image, and you can use either the presets that they have set up here or you can give it your own width. I'm going to go with about 250. It's going to depend on how wide your sidebar is or the area that you are inserting this image into. And then as far as the height goes, you can go a little longer and you can trim it up, but your width is going to be the important part right now. And if you want to give this new image a name, and then if you want a transparent background, you can check this box here. If you want it to be a certain color, I'm going to show you how to add a colored background. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and check the transparent background. Okay, so what you wanna do now is we are going to drag this image over onto our new image. And you can do so by clicking on the layer holding down and dragging it over to the new image that you created. Now we need to resize it. In order to resize it, you can come up to edit, free transform, and then I always use the corners to adjust the height and the width because it saves it in the right proportion. So I'm just making it smaller so that the other logos can fit on here. And when you have it the size that you want it, you simply hit enter. And then you can click on the image and move it around so that you can position it where it will fit in best. Now that we've got that image added, we're gonna go ahead and add in another one and you can do the same thing. We're going to click on the layer and drag it over and drop it on the new image. And then to edit it, you're gonna come up to edit free transform or you can do control T as well and we're going to edit this to be a different size and once we have it the size we want it we're gonna hit enter and now we're going to grab this one this is a really large image so we're going to make it a lot smaller and we can just put these wherever and hit enter when you're done. And that is how you add the images and the logos to your as seen on image. Now, if you want to use a background color rather than transparent, um, for whatever reason, it makes it a little bit more difficult if you have something other than a white background because you can see these have white background images, so you will need to get a transparent logo if you have anything like that. But we're gonna go ahead and add a new layer by clicking this new layer button right here. You can see it, I'm gonna bring over the layers. And you can see right here, this is the new layer. If you hover over it, that's what it says. Now we wanna drag these, the this layer below the other layers so that it's a background. We want it to be like one of the first um, layers. And then you can come over to the color picker and pick your color. Of whatever you want the background to be. And then you can see that there's a paint bucket here. In order to fill the background, you can simply just click on that. 
so that it's highlighted and then you can click on your new image and it will fill in the background. So you can have this match your area or you can leave it transparent. Again, if you're using a white background um, on your sidebar, that's probably going to be the easiest for you and less maintenance. Um, but if you want to try to attempt to remove the background yourself, what you can do is you can click this wand tool right here and then click on, you have to make sure that you have the layer selected that you want to try to move the background from. So we are going to remove the NASA white background. What you want to do then is click on the white area. Once that's selected, then you can hit delete and you can see that it removed the background there. It didn't do it perfectly, but it's a little bit better and in a smaller proportion, you may not see it. So if you also wanna add text that says as seen on, you can simply come down and click on the A and click on your image wherever you want the text to go and type whatever you want it to say. And adjust the color of your font and whatever type of font you want it to be. And once you have it exactly styled how you want it to look, then you can click OK and drag it down so that it looks OK. Now let's move this one down a little bit. And we can make the NASA one. And then we're going to grab the Fox Business one, back up. And now you can see that we've got all this extra space down here. You can easily crop this by coming over to the crop button right here, which is a square. And you're going to drag it to where you want to crop. So we want to keep this area and we want to apply the changes. And now we have a cropped image that we can add to our website with our logos that displays the as seen on. And you can move them around for a little bit better positioning so that they look good and asymmetrical. And then once you have it positioned, then you go up to file, save, and save your image to your computer If you're using it for the web, I would go ahead and change it into a PNG file. And then you can click OK, save it. And now let's go check, take a look at what our image looks like. And this is what the image that we just created looks like. So you can be as creative as you want to to get it to match your site. Um, you can turn the images to grayscale using Pixlr. There's all kinds of things that you can do to make it match your website and your brand. So have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Allie Rittenhouse.